Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang introduction to conic sections. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang introduction to conic section. So, dito sa introduction to conic sections is hindi muna tayo mag-graph ng different conic sections but instead is bibigyan ko lang kayo ng overview kung ano ba yung definition natin ng conic sections at ano-ano ba yung mga conic sections at ano yung definitions nila at paano sila nabuo. Okay? So, sa mga future videos ko is iisa-isay natin kung paano i-analyze at i-graph yung different conic sections. Pero this time, introduction lang muna tayo. Okay? So, pag sinabing conic sections from the word itself, meron tayong consider na cone kung saan kapag nag-pass tayo or nag-cut tayo doon sa cone na yon ng isang plane in different positions is makakabuo tayo ng conic sections nga. Okay? So, sabi, when considering the geometry of conic sections, a cone is regarded as having two naps extending indefinitely far in both directions shown below. A generator or element of the cone is a line lying in the cone and all the generators of a cone contain the point V called the vertex. Okay, so ito ra yung ating cone na i-consider. So sabi, kapag magkoconsider tayo ng conic sections, meron tayong dalawang cone na i-consider which is consist of two naps. So, itong cone na to is itong upper nap. So, itong portion na to. And then, yung other cone is yung lower nap. Itong portion na to. Tapos, nag extend indefinitely itong two naps na to in both direction. And then, meron din tayong kinatawag na generator or element of the cone, which is a line lying in the cone. So, ito yung mga generator na yon. Yung lahat ng lines na to na naglalay doon sa upper at lower nap ng cone. And then, lahat sila nag intersect sa isang point which is called the vertex o itong point B. Okay? So, sa gitna nitong dalawang cone, mayroon tayong kinatawag na axis. Okay, so ito yung itsura ng ating cone kung saan dito tayo magka-cut or magpa-pass through ng plane para makabuo tayo ng different conic sections. Okay? So, let's start with the first conic section which is the parabola. So, for the parabola, we have a cone and a cutting plane that is parallel to one and only one generator. So, kung meron daw tayong cone with upper and lower nap, dapat kapag nagpas tayo ng plane doon sa cone is sa isang nap lang, let's say dito sa lower nap, ito yung cutting plane natin, pinas natin in such a way dito sa cone na parallel lang siya sa isang generator. For example, parallel siya dito sa generator na to. Okay? Ang mabubuo nating section doon sa cone is itong parabola, itong kulay violet na to. Okay, so ganyan yung itsura ng parabola. Okay? So, sa definition naman ng parabola, it is the set of points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. The fixed point is called the focus and the fixed line is called the direct fix. So, ito yung itsura ng ating parabola. So, ang definition ng parabola natin is dapat set of points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. So, for example, dito sa illustration ko sa parabola na to, meron tayong fixed point, which is yung focus, which is this one. At meron din tayong fixed line, which is the directrix, which is this line. So, para makonsider natin na nakabilang sa isang parabola yung point, let's say this set of points, right, sa graph ng parabola, dapat equidistant yung point na to, let's say itong point na to, doon sa focus, which is yung distance niya ito, let's say D. Tapos yung distance niya naman dito sa directrix, let's say ito, D din, dapat equal sila. Same as dito sa other point, let's say itong point na to, dapat equidistant siya sa directrix, tsaka dito sa focus. So lahat ng point na to dapat nagko-conform dito sa definition ng parabola. Para nga masabing parabola siya. Okay. So, isa lang itong itsura ng parabola. So, ito ay parabola opening to the right, right? Pwede ring parabola opening to the left or pwede ring parabola na opening upwards and opening downwards. Okay? 
Next, we have the ellipse or circle. So, sabi, the cutting plane is parallel to no generator in which the cutting plane intersect each generator as in the figure below. Okay, so kapag ellipse naman daw or circle, dapat yung cutting plane natin is hindi parallel or kahit isa din sa mga generator ay wala siyang parallel. Meaning, nag intersect siya doon sa generator. So, for example, itong cone natin na merong cutting plane na to. So, wabansin nyo, itong cutting plane natin is hindi parallel sa anumang generator dito sa cone. Kaya, nagkaroon tayo ng ellipse. So, kapag medyo patagilid, not necessarily parallel sa base, di ba ito yung base ng ating cone, makakabuo tayo ng ellipse. So, ito yung itsura ng ellipse. Okay? Tapos yung circle, special case siya ng ellipse. Saan? Nag-intersect pa rin yung cutting plane doon sa generators at hindi siya parallel sa anumang generator. Pero parallel naman dapat yung plane doon sa base nung ating cone or perpendicular dito sa axis nung cone. So kapag tinignan natin sa taas, yung nabuo natin cross section is ito, which is a circle. So alam naman natin yung circle, right? So ito yung orientation ng cutting plane natin kapag ellipse or circle. Okay? For the definition naman ng ellipse, we have an ellipse is the set of points in a plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points is a constant. Each fixed point is called a focus. So sabi naman daw, yung ellipse daw is a set of points in a plane whose sum of distances from two fixed points is a constant. So let's say, ito yung ellipse natin. Tapos meron tayong two fixed points which is, let's say, focus 1 tsaka focus 2. So, ito yung dalawang yun. So, itong mga set of points dapat na to sa ellipse, let's say, itong point na to, yung sum ng distance nitong point na to dito sa focus 1 tsaka dito sa focus 2, let's say, ito ay distance 1, let's say, ito ay distance 2, dapat constant. So, D1 plus D2 is constant. Let's say, constant C. Okay? So, same as dito. So, Kung isusulat natin yung distance, let's say, dapat D1, D2, pag in natin, dapat equal lagi sa constant C. Okay? So, lahat ng point na to dapat nagko-confirm din sa definition ng ellipse. Okay? And then, kapag circle naman, alam naman na natin yung definition ng circle, dapat set of points naman, let's say, itong mga point na to equidistant siya doon sa center. Let's say, for example, ito yung center, right? Tapos, yung distance na yon dapat fix, which is called the radius, represented by this letter R. Okay? Next, we have the hyperbola. So, sabi, when a cutting plane of a cone is parallel to two generators and it intersects both naps of the cone. Okay, so this time, dapat, yung cutting plane naman daw natin is parallel sa dalawang generators at nag intersect dito sa dalawang nap. So, let's say, ito yung cutting plane natin. So, nag-intersect siya dito sa upper at lower nap. And then, yung mabubuo nating conic section is this hyperbola. So, itong pula. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, dalawang, para siyang dalawang parabola. Right? For the definition naman ng hyperbola, so, sabi, a hyperbola is the set of points in a plane. The absolute value of the difference of whose distances from two fixed points is a constant. The two fixed points are called the so, let's say, ito naman daw yung ating hyperbola. So, parang dun sa kanina kong pinakita, para siyang dalawang parabola, right? So, sabi, ang definition naman niya, set of points. So, let's say, itong mga points na to, in both branch ng parabola, na yung difference naman daw, nung point na to, let's say, itong point na to, sa dalawang fixed point, let's say, ito yung dalawang fixed point na yon called focus din. Or yung Plural form is foci or foci. So, dapat yung distance na sin itong point na to dito sa focus 1, tapos sa focus 2, let's say ito yung distance nga D1, tapos dito D2. Dapat yung absolute value daw ng difference ng distances na to, so D1 minus D2, dapat constant. So, di ba kanina sa ellipse, dapat yung sum ng distances ng point dun sa ellipse from two fixed points na yon yung dalawang focus, dapat Constant. So, this time, kapag hyperbola naman, constant naman yung difference nung certain point ng hyperbola dun sa dalawang fixed point na focus. Okay? So, same as dito, dapat yung distance na to, let's say D1, minus yung distance na to, let's say D2, dapat 
constant din na C. So, lahat ng point na to dapat mag-confirm dun sa definition ng hyperbola. Okay? So, itong form na to ng hyperbola, which opens to the left at to the right, is one form lang siya. Pwede rin tayo magkaroon ng hyperbola na opening upward, tsaka opening downward. So, laging in pair. Okay? Next, punta naman tayo sa equations ng conic sections. So, sabi, the general second degree equation is given by ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, ito yung general second degree equation natin. So, if b is equal to 0, then ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, kung ililet daw natin yung b na 0, syempre makakancel itong xy term. So, magiging ito yung form natin. So, in particular, yung i-consider natin equation ng conic sections is laging yung b is 0 dito sa second degree equation. So, dito lang tayo magbabase palagi. And then, sabi, the equation ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0, where a and c are not both 0, is either a conic or a degenerate, if it is a conic, then the graph is... Okay, so, sabi ko nga, yung mga equations natin ng conic section is magko-confirm lang dito kung saan laging yung B is 0. So, sabi, pwedeng conic or degenerate yung mabubuo nating graph dito sa equation na to. So, kapag sinabing degenerate, ito yung mga equation na kapag sinimplify o inanalyze natin is although it has this form, is hindi pala tayo makakabuo ng conic section such as parabola, Circle, ellipse, or hyperbola. Kung hindi, pwedeng maging line, point, or empty set. So, yun yung mga types ng degenerate conic section. So, pwede siyang maging point, pwedeng maging line, at pwedeng maging empty set. Okay? Anyway, sa future videos ko for each type of conic sections, is isa-try kong magsama ng mga equation ng degenerate conic sections para ma-illustrate natin kung paano ba tayo nagkakaroon ng degenerate conic sections when we have certain types of equations such as this. Okay? So, as well tayong different conditions daw para ma-determine yung graph ng conic section given this equation. So, sabi, for one, parabola daw if either a is equal to 0 or c is equal to 0, that is, a times c is equal to 0. So, kung isa man lang daw dito sa coefficient a at c is 0, then the conic section can be a graph of a parabola. Okay? So, kapag degenerate pala dito sa parabola, pwedeng maging line, single line, or two parallel lines, or empty set. So, pag empty set, ibig sabihin, wala kang mag-graph kasi yung kakalabasan ng equation doon is walang real solution. Okay? Now, kapag ellipse naman daw, if a and c have the same sign, that is a times c is greater than 0. So, this time, kapag ellipse, dapat hindi 0 si A at C. But, dapat paro sila ng sign. Okay? Para maging ellipse yung graph. Tapos, kapag circle naman, special case nga siya ng ellipse, dapat pareho ng sign at dapat numerically equal sila. Okay? So, ang degenerate naman dito sa ellipse or circle is pwede siyang maging point or just empty set. Okay? Now, kapag hyperbola naman, if A and C have opposite signs, that is, if A, C is less than 0. Okay? So, kapag hyperbola naman daw, dapat yung A at C mo ay may numerical value at dapat opposite signs sila. So, kung positive si A, dapat negative si C or kung negative si C, dapat positive si A. Or dapat A, C is less than 0. So, ang degenerate naman dito sa hyperbola can be two intersecting lines. Okay? So, ito yung overview lang ng mga pwede nating makitang equations ng conic section. So, by the way, sa mga future videos ko for each conic section is i-consider natin tong equation and then i graph natin yung different conic sections. Okay? Okay, so I think putulin ko muna dito yung introduction to conic sections. So abangan nyo na lang yung future uploads ko for well-detailed discussions of each conic section. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.